Dude, that was really close. You're playing it close to the edge, brother. Don't do that to me again. Welcome back, everybody, to some more Planet Base. I'm IGP, and in the last episode, we started up a new run on the Ice Planet, or the Class F Challenging Planet. It's really fun. You guys recommended it, and we're doing pretty well. We got two milestones so far, and everything we need to keep the colonists alive. We don't need this anymore. Um, but our biggest problem here, well, we have a few problems. We need storage, I know, but the biggest problem is the power. This is a waste of resources, according to you guys, and as well as we're going to be using up spares like crazy because we're about to have five units of power. So my idea is, and I'm going to start doing it because I want to hurry, uh, and it's crazy. Now hear me out. Let me explain myself before you guys continue to yell at me and leave hateful comments. I'm going to scrap all this like I'm doing right now and uh, use all of the resources to build up one giant power collector, one giant wind turbine, and one giant uh, solar panel because it'll be use less spares and also be more efficient. Now, I do need a wind turbine first, because one, I can't put it down without a solar panel. I don't want to scrap that. And also, it's going to be night soon, because we're, you know, we're going to need night power for the wind. Hopefully, the wind stays up. Otherwise, the airlock won't work, um, and we won't be able to do the rest of it. Now, actually, is an engineer out here? Please tell me an engineer is out here. Good. Whew. Uh, I was going to say, because if the engineer didn't make it out before sundown, this won't power the airlock, and then he can't get out, and then we're all dead for the night, probably. But not really. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he going to build it? Uh-oh. Dude! Engineer! Where? Where'd you go? Why aren't you building it? Get out! Get out! Oh, did he make it? Oh, I think he made it. Holy shit! Dude, that was really close. You're playing it close to the edge, brother. Don't do that to me again. That was way too close. Way too close. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, I love the high-risk, high-reward attempts that I do. And I'm not to toot my own horn, but they're really fun to do. Let me go ahead and scrap this now, right? It should be enough power. We have no wind, actually. Never mind. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do is build up the another wind turbine over here. I can't, though. I gotta... Okay. I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm going to put something right here. And it'll send people out and have to move these over here, and then it'll clear up space, and then I can put it right there, and then scrap this one, and then scrap this one. It's going to be perfect, guys. I love my high-risk, high-reward attempts, and the reason why I do is because it's really fun and challenging to do them, these crazy ideas and attempts. Because I never do anything conventionally. I usually don't. I do things the hard way in a complicated way that doesn't really make sense. Okay, this is not getting enough power to get out. Okay, go, 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 go. People, go, 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 go. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. You guys are gonna die if we don't do this properly. Um, yeah, so bring some stuff. Now bring these over here, dude. You're like using way too many resources from other places. Um, but yeah, because the reason why I like it is because I'm gonna slow this down <laughs> while I'm talking. Um, is because it's entertaining in the during the during the time that it's happening. And then if I fail, I fail. Fine. It was it was a great run. It was a great journey. Um, but if I succeed, it's even better because it was awesome along the way and then it was awesome when I did it, when it actually worked. And I think this is going to work and you guys can clap your hands at the end. Everybody's still going to be alive, I promise you. There we go. So I'm going to scrap this now. And the robot's like, what the hell? I thought you guys told me to do this. So put the wind turbine here first because again, it might be night by the time we build the rest. And then I can build, uh oh. The solar panel right here, maybe? Yes. Keep it as far away as possible so we can fit more stuff. This might actually work. I cannot believe it's going to work. I just scrapped everything to rebuild my power system to be more efficient. Now, once this one's built, I'm going to scrap this one for more resources. Put down a power collector behind here. And then that should be enough. Yeah, I should have enough to do all of that. And then also I have to rebuild the mine and then replace this water extractor for a bigger one. And then we should be good because I don't want multiple small ones again, just a waste of resources. And it's not as efficient. The bigger they are, the more they produce. So that's the idea. <sighs> I can't believe that worked. That was really close. So that engineer was like, oh, what am I doing? I, I don't think I have to build something. And then he went inside. Look at this guy about to die. Get yourself to the sick bay. Have yourself a rest. Everyone's actually injured. Pretty bad. Ugh, get inside. I wish I had a communication center. Did you just take that food? Oh, yeah, you did. Okay, we definitely need, um, this blizzard is damaging all of our goods. Okay, sweet. Okay, I can scrap this one. And this will allow us to build the power collector up here. The big one. Big one right there. 
This will be 12,500 power. Should be enough. What happened to that? Okay, and we have three, which we're going to need five total for. Now, actually, you know what? Scrap that. We need to build the mine. Because we gotta pre we're got to we not going to be able to do anything else if we don't have enough metal. Um, can I put it right here? Oh my gosh, yes. That is so perfect. That is so perfect right there. How many do we need? Three total, I think. Okay, well, while they're doing that, I'm going to slow it down to two. Uh, there's some other things we need to take care of. You guys had mentioned the food. I shouldn't have fast producing anything. Uh, and the rice, unfortunately, and the pea pad are high production. Be just because the biologists have to uh, maintain them. Um, and we're producing a lot anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and scrap this tomato one and I'm gonna put down a mushroom one We do have the onions, which is I think in the middle. It's neither so the pea pad is almost done. I'll do the pea pad and We'll put down a much faster. I'll keep one of each. I think maize pad. There we go. This one does what again? Uh, starchy Okay, so that should produce more starch Probably two at once. Okay, so we need an engineer to come build that. We're producing a decent amount of power. It's nighttime. Uh, yeah, see, the giant wind turbines, they produce so much that it doesn't matter how much it's actually consuming. We're good. All right, so let's go ahead and build this one up. Get an engineer out there and build that mine up. Woo! This is actually a tense moment in Planet Base. I actually just read a comment from one of you guys talking like how peaceful it is to play and just it's just awesome. And you get attached to it, but then something crazy happens. Like IGP pulls out another one of his insane ideas and it worked. It friggin' worked. Look how much space I freed up too. Like I can put a giant landing pad out here if I wanted to. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, we're losing a little bit of power. I understand that. I understand that. That's fine. Actually, we're not. We're doing okay. Okay. Sun's coming up. We'll be fine. All right. So now we could put down a request for a power collector because now we can get more stuff out of the mine. How much have we got anyway? We have one, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got two. Very nice. So we're just waiting on four. That's one. And we got one in here. So we just need two more. So if the miners. There we go. We got people in there. This is working out very well. Let's go ahead and put down another meal maker too. And probably a TV. So people's morale is going to start going down. And we don't want that. Let's get a plant right there too. Three things in there. We have enough bioplastic for that, I think. You have five. Yeah, we got some... Well, we got some starch in here too. So whenever the workers are ready, should be good. And then once this is done, we'll be established. We kind of rearranged everything. It's a little more concise. I like it. And we're going to put a storage. Uh, probably right here or over here. I think the storage can connect um, in multiple places. So maybe, yeah, I might have to put it right here once it's done. Okay, cool. So what are we waiting on? Just two. Uh, are we producing anything? No. We got people in the mine, though. We just need two ores, and that should be enough. Yeah, this looks like it's more efficient. The biologists don't have to work as hard. And they can focus on other things. We do need to get a lab in here to get the tissue synthesizers as well as the workbenches uh, to be able to make some stuff to trade once we start bringing more people in. It's very complicated. Um, now, the only problem is, is, I mean, you guys said unless we're in dire need of food, we shouldn't make fast production things. Um, but I feel like it's not produced, like I'm, I'm low on food right now. I feel like I am. I don't know. I just feel like it. What are we looking at? Two? Okay. So we still got to wait on these. Yeah. Oh, uh, just one. Nobody's in there still. Okay. I'm set to four. This guy's broken leg. What is it? Ooh, trauma. Yeah, we're running solely on wind right now. It's not doing well. Well, okay. It's picking up. Good. That blizzard helped out a lot, but we need that power collector bad. This should be a really efficient system. I never... <laughs> I, for, for me, it was more like conserve the amount of resources you have, but immediately. Like, the big picture I wasn't thinking about, and that kind of screwed me over. So, you know, but we should be fine now. I think we'll be okay. What was that sound? I heard something weird next to me. Ah, oh, God. Come on, guys. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. Maybe if I turn this off, we'll be okay. Yeah, come on guys. Get some sleep, get some food in you. I think you're all fine, honestly. This stuff is producing kind of fast, not even really. 
I don't even know. Does it make a difference, really? This should be another onion pad. Let me let me recycle this and do a better another onion pad because or this one. Yeah, let's do that just to have some variety. I think we'll be okay. All right, so we're producing some power. Turn on the mine again. We need that other. We need one more metal after this one. So get in there, finish it, get that ore. We should be okay. And then we'll do the storage because we need to put this stuff away before another blizzard comes and destroys it all. I think they'll replenish uh, integrity. I don't even know if they do if they're sitting in storage units. I don't know. It's kind of kind of scary actually. Okay, are we producing it? Yes, we're still doing it. Good. Get get that metal. Get that ore. Bring it in here. Produce some metal. And what happens to the other one? Oh, it's not done. And you guys are getting lazy on me here. You guys are getting super lazy. What are you, biologist? Yeah, you're not really doing much anyway. Engineer, there's a worker. What are you, a scientist? Or a medic, sorry, scientist. I'm thinking about life in Bunker, which is something I haven't played in a while. I have so many games I gotta play, guys. You guys keep asking me, where's this, where's this? They're coming, they're coming. I just, uh, you know, have a lot of games to play and not much time to do it. Anyway, so this should be fine, I think, for morale. Everybody looks pretty good. A little tired, broken bone, obviously. <laughs> need to get some workers in here. Okay, so I can go ahead and turn this off because we don't need it right now. We need to focus more on getting this guy healed. And uh, how many workers do we even have? Two of each, right? Yeah. And one bot. One bot. Where are you? Uh, oh, two bot. We have two bots? Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's collective bots. One. I was going to say, it says it up here that I have one. Why would it say I have two? All right, so the wind is generating enough. It's going down a little bit. It's nighttime again. And we got people, workers, producing the wrong things. I'm going to turn off the bioplastic right now. You guys need to focus on doing this, obviously. Like, that should be your number one priority. There we go. Bring that metal. And we need one more worker to come over here and do your job. Are you a worker? What are you? What are you? No, he's an engineer. Were well, you a worker? No, you're a biologist. Where are the workers at? Oh, they're in the orange. Okay. Yeah, get over there and produce that. Cool. Shouldn't take long. And then we'll have the power collector. Uh, I think storage is next because I don't want these spares to get ruined in another blizzard. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't give me information. I was saying like loose items. I wonder if they get damaged by storms. I would imagine they do, but who really knows, right? Is this producing enough water? Ooh, just barely. Just barely. We'll get a better one. We'll get a better one out there. <clears throat> and now what I'm thinking is to build something over here for water, right? Scrap this one, build something else, and then take the resources and then put the bigger water here if I can do that. That would be awesome. Because there's this is empty space. I should fill it with something. Okay, we got enough to build the power collector. Let's do this because we need that bad. Let's go. Let's go. And we'll turn this back on. And turn this back on. There we go. Sweet. Awesome. We got the power collector. It should be building up really fast. Hell yes. Okay, so let's get the water extractor now. I'm going to put this out here just for now. I want to see if this is possible. We need three metal. Shouldn't be too hard. We just need more of stuff from the mines. Let's go. Let's go. So I, my idea is, is kind of similar to what I was doing earlier with the power. I'm going to put the water extractor over here, scrap this one, and then build something minute over here that requires these to be used uh, to move them out of the way, and then maybe I can build a big one right there. I don't know. But hopefully we can, because again, there's an empty space there. It only makes sense to have something sitting there. I'm surprised the mine fit there. I mean, I know you have to be on like a mountain for the mine to even work, but it's pretty awesome that it did. I very much enjoy that. Okay. So we're looking at We got one. Ah, it's taking forever, dude. Didn't he go in there? Didn't somebody go in here? I thought I saw somebody go in there. I must have been mistaken. That's fine. This is going to take a bit. What I'm going to do, actually, instead of making you guys wait, is I'm going to go ahead and cut to where we have enough to build this. Because right now, it's just a grind for metal. So, I'll go ahead and cut so you guys don't have to watch it. And I'll be back. 
All right, so we got the larger water extractor built, just kind of a placeholder there. I will rebuild it now that we have the resources to do it, no problem. Let me scrap that and place a base pad right here. And that should make them carry this one over because that's the only one we have. And then I'll see if I can build a larger water extractor here. It looks like I can, but we'll see. Let's speed up one more. Let's go ahead and see. Come on. Can I? Oh, really? Really? I can build a small one here, but not a big one. Not a big one. I wonder if I can... I know I'm, I know I'm reaching here, guys. But again, remember that crazy part? Remember that whole crazy thing I was talking about? Let's go and scrap that, and we'll build a giant wind turbine out here or something. Right here. Oop, sorry. Giant solar panel right here. Cool. All right, put it right there. Everyone gets to work. I'm making you work because there's nothing else for you to do. Our welfare is incredibly through the roof right now, so it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, there's another spare being used. Sheet. Okay, so bring that over there. I'm trying to move the mine. Maybe if I put the water extractor... Nope, that was pointless. That was super pointless. That was really super pointless. All right, well, I'll keep the water extractor... Um... Where can I put this? Back here. We'll build that. Let's go ahead and scrap this. Damn. Well, that was... It was worth... It was worth trying. It was worth trying, definitely. Um, in fact, I could probably put... Eh, let's keep this close. Maybe we can squeeze something there, like another oxygen generator, maybe? That'd be cool. I can. I might as well, honestly. I might as well. I'll save that for now. But I might as well. All right, so we'll rebuild the mine, we'll be fine. And then the water extractor will be built. And then I'll scrap this one for extra resources. Cool. So I might come over here and build this. <laughs> well, you know, see, my, it didn't work, but we didn't fail. So it's not all that bad, you know, but anyway. <laughs> don't hate on me. Okay, water extractor has been built, sweet. Let's scrap this one then. We don't need all this damn water. And they should be producing enough. Yeah, six. So another biodome of this size would do well. Honestly, we might want to go ahead and do that. Uh, how much food do we have? Yeah, because we're not producing enough food. I'd say let's go ahead and do another biodome real quick. Just because um, we need to make sure we have food. It's very important that we do. Um, I'd say go big, but you know. You know. Uh, see, I can't get rid of this one because that would get rid of the connection here um where could i put this honestly let's just do honestly i don't care i don't know why i worry about organization so much i just need stuff two five seven i know storage is important guys but i think the last you know what let's do storage <laughs> let's just do the storage real quick let's just do the storage uh, four should be okay. Uh, can I put it out here? Can I put it out here? No? Nothing? I can't connect to the canteen? That's some bull. Damn it. I, mean, I can't do anything. Um, just do right here. That's fine. That should hold enough, at least just to hold the spares. That's only going to require three, which I think we have two of. Uh, and we got ores being produced. We still have some in here. Okay, that'll be fine. Ah, uh, screwing myself over here. <laughs> Storage first, and then we'll do the bigger biodome to produce more stuff. And the water is producing enough, I think. Uh, a little bit less. I guess I gotta. I don't understand. Let me let me let me look at this. Okay, exterior structure that helps soil because again, this is a power intensive process. Water structure needs to be connected to a structure to provide steady water supply to it. The water supply from a particular structure will often oscillate, and it's usually a good idea to build a water tank to compensate for that. Okay, that might be a good idea too. Honestly, I think so. People say it's not, but you know, I think it's not a bad idea. We will compensate for that. Um, yeah, we're just waiting on one steel. Steel. We have stuff for just waiting on the people to sleep. Ah, uh, yeah. So that should be fine. We need to make sure we produce enough water, which would be okay. And then we can build a bigger biodome. I might need to build a bigger water extractor. <laughs> or another one just in general. Uh, just because, you know. See, this is a T. I'm just going to go connect, honestly. I'm, I'm putting down stuff right now, okay? I need to do this. 
I need this. And it it variates, so we'll just do this. And we'll set down. Basically, I'll come back in the next episode when all this is built. And then we'll go with the biodome. I want to keep all the grind parts out. So you might see some edits here and there. Let me know what you guys think. Unless you want me to, to keep in the grind and just talk to you guys, that's up to you. Let me know in the comment section below. And then um, I'll adjust based on what you guys want. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.